All right guys, we are back. So I just got done filming the uh, headlight install. It took me way too long to do it, but I finally got it done. Um, now we're gonna be doing the new grill install. So this one is a wrapper uh, like, I guess, Ford Raptor S. I don't know. It, it's supposed to mimic the Ford Raptor a little bit. Now the reason this happened was because, so I was taking off, you have to take off the front grill to remove the headlights. So while I was doing that, Everybody, every time somebody sees my Camaro outside, that's what they do. Anyways, so uh, I was taking out the front grill because you have to do that to remove the headlights. When I did that, I saw that there was a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, chipping chrome on it. So I was like, okay, so I'll take off all the chrome and it'll be perfect. Well, when I did that, um, the chrome wouldn't come off on the corners, on the edges. Um, it came off on the flat pieces, no, no problem. And I think... For the life of me, I cannot get it off these corners and off these edges. Uh, the flat came out pretty good. I almost had it all completely, but this stuff was just not coming off. Um, so I ruined it pretty much, which I really didn't like it anyways. I like the newer version of the 2011 grills better than the 2010, because I think this grill was 2007 to 2010, and then the newer one was 2011 to 2014, I think, or 13. Doesn't matter. I like that one better. I didn't like mine so much. So I decided to uh, go ahead and upgrade. This one only cost me 75 bucks on Amazon. It's weird, Amazon, it, they had it for 125. I looked at it the next morning, it was down to $88. I had a coupon, so I got it for 75 bucks. And I'm really happy with it. It is plastic, but I mean, it just looks amazing. And I think it's gonna look even better when it's on the truck with the new headlights. So uh, I probably am gonna color match this Part this bezel um, with the truck once I wrap it but until then I'm just gonna rock this gray I know it's not gonna match all that great with the uh, the top chrome piece but again I'm gonna be wrapping this that's gonna be a, a future video so I don't think it's a huge issue right now we're gonna see how it looks but it's pretty simple it comes with the wiring harness this these three plugs just plug into each light you have a ground and you have a power um, it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm probably just gonna plug this ground back into where I grounded the uh, the first headlight, and then I'm going to plug this into probably one of the uh, the uh, high beams as a power in the fuse box, and then we're also gonna be using just a ground, and we're just gonna ground it like right here. So we're gonna get started right now. So first, put this bad boy in there. So uh, I guess when they're, the, the mold is just sitting there, it kind of uh, kind of flattens out. So you have to kind of put this side in, bend this side in, and you should be good to go. Let's just get a look real quick. Oh, what's that's gonna look like? pretty good pretty good I think it'd look better if this was black maybe I like it though has the new headlights on it Bam. that looks like a badass truck I am pretty happy with that okay so now we gotta wire it up like I said, wiring should be super easy.
I'll be recording. Okay guys, sorry, I, uh, my camera died on me there. So what I ended up doing, and you guys saw pretty much everything, I was uh, running the wires through here, I put a small zip tie right here, and grounded it to the same ground as the um, daytime running light that I just put in. And then I ran all three wires right here. And then I hooked uh, two up to the daytime running lights, which are the daytime running lights. And then I hooked up the three markers up here to the uh, right headlight. So whenever the right headlight turns on, it'll turn on. And it'll look something like that. So they look really good. And there's no like too much draw on this headlight. Like it looks exactly the same as the other headlight. So it's not like drawing too much off of it but that looks a hell of a lot better than it did. Um, super excited with it. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and button everything back up, put the top piece on there, close this up. I am gonna be putting wire taps in there eventually, but I just haven't done it yet. So that's how you hook up the grill. I can't remember what grill it is. I'll put it in the, in, uh, the description uh, and probably the uh, thumbnail. And that's how you put day, daytime running lights on your 2010 2500 uh, Chevrolet. So anyways, thanks guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna be wrapping it. I'm gonna be doing a full build on this truck. Um, so I already got the wheels and tires. Uh, and I'm gonna be doing, man, I'm gonna be doing the wrap. I'm gonna be doing a new uh, exhaust system, uh, new side steps, the headlights, the grill. I did that already. Uh, touch screen on the inside. I think I'm gonna be doing the seats and leather and uh, just other small stuff like that. But the big thing is the full wrap. That's gonna be coming soon. I'm still trying to figure out what color I want. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.